is coming through that Inter Miami dress room. You can see the influence he's having in the team's... 11 gets set for Inter Miami hosting Nashville SC in this midweek Eastern Conference matchup. Hey, everybody. I'm Katie with them. When you look at this one tonight from the visitor's perspective, it is not ideal. And Ken Griffey Jr. in the house taking in this one and kickoff. It's coming up next. Jim Zivin and Taylor Twelman will be back with us. Stay with us. And we're underway at Drive-In Stadium in Fort Lauderdale. Taylor. Taylor clipping it towards Yedlin. Unable to get there. Well, and already you see a little bit of a tactical switch from Tata Martino and Inter-Miami. They're going to allow Lionel Messi. Messi back to Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba coming around Shaq Moore. And out into touch over the end line for a goal kick. Six of seven in MLS play, of course, with the run to the League's Cup final jammed in between. Diego Gomez is down and holding on to the back of his out. Tries to cut it back, still has it. Wheel chests it down. And then Jack Mayer, the center back, sends it over. Well, without Hani Mukhtar in the lineup tonight, Randall Leal needs to be very dynamic on set pieces. Yedlin in towards Messi. Keeps it away from Anunga. Draws a free kick. And my point in front of Panico here with this in swinging ball. Messi drives it in. Busquets trying to flick it on. Akil still with Inter Miami. Gary Smith told Arcady with him as Anunga again called for the foul. Gary Smith told Arcady with him that Hani Mukhtar expected. Miami now with the pressure, wins it back, wins another free kick. There's been a couple blueprints on how to play Inter Miami. They've just had one moment. Nasty collision here on Dax McCarty. Yeah, Royo going straight through the back of Nashville's captain tonight, Dax McCarty. Back towards Messi. McNaughton defending. Physical battle, and Messi's called for the foul. Well, McNaughton doing a good job here. Still there, trying to get space. Really well defended by Jack Mayer. Over to Lionel Messi. Lionel defending on his left. Still Lionel Messi into Taylor, back towards Messi, and once again, defended really well. Teams have to come play us at home. Messi finds Taylor, Taylor over the bar. Yeah, you can see the frustration settling in for Dax McCarty, and he's right. It's one thing to sit in, it's another to not pick up 20 yards from goal. You've got to leave. As a center back, you've got to step. Inter Miami has been unable to deal with Nashville's defense and break through so far. And then Leal and Bumbery do a really nice job to hold on to it, and Bumbery draws the foul. Messi broken up again by Anunga. Nashville has done a really good job of limiting Lionel Messi in this first half. Once again, drawing a foul in the midfield. This Messi over the top. He settles, he turns, and he sends it wide. I mean, this ball is given as a goal kick, but I think Mayer actually defends this. What a ball this is from Lionel Messi. And that's the thing. They want Messi to drop deep if they have to. The high line. Haven't really been able to. Teal Bumbery dispossessed, but fouled, and a yellow card is going to be shown. Ooh, ooh, the first to the the referee. Hold on. Hang on a minute. It's going to be a yellow card to Diego Gomez and then see if Sergio Busquets gets any discipline. Gets any discipline. With Whistle, a frustrating one for Lionel Messi and Inter Miami. Defensive master plan and master class. Appearances for Inter Miami. His first two and pink. We'll see what he can do in the second half tonight, which is now underway. Inter Miami and now. 
I think this works in Nashville's favor. Schaffelberg leaving. Mukhtar over the bar. The flag stayed down, and that's a really good chance. Less than a minute into the second half. I promise you I had no idea this was going to happen right when we're speaking about Schaffelberg and Hani Mukhtar. Now Pico. Mukhtar. Fouled from behind by Busquets. Diego Gomez has to be careful here. He's on a yellow. He made that run forward game than what we saw in the first 45. Already more open in the first five minutes of this second half. Now Pico draws a foul for Nashville. And a yellow card shown to Robert Taylor. Messi blocked by McNaughton for Rias, blocked by Schaffelberg, what a ball! Mukhtar is in! Oh, once again! Spectacular tackle by Kamal Miller! Lionel uh, Messi, around McCarty tries to bring him down and does. Yellow card coming from McCarty and a very dangerous free kick coming for Lionel Messi and Inter Miami. Well, he may be 36 years old, but he's so shifty, crafty, he gets you off balance. So many bodies in front of the sight line. Yedlin chasing from behind. Schaffelberg holding him off. And Callender making the save. Mukhtar's in the middle. Mukhtar is in on Callender. Mukhtar has scored. The flag has stayed down. And now it comes up very late. From Jose De Silva, the assistant referee, it looked like in real time to be several yards offside. He's at least a yard and a half off, if not. Kramaski taking out Pico, it's fair play, says Chris Penso. Who scats over to Messi, Messi first time to Campana, and too far and behind. Back to Campana. Gets away from Manunga. Well, they want a handball. Chris Penso doesn't give it, he does give the corner. I don't think it's a handball in the sense. Farias does have a go, and it's into La Familia. Well, before that save from Dre Callender, Farias had a good opportunity that Panico ended up coming up with a big save that to DeAndre Yellen, but now they've got to be careful. Messi gets around Mayer. He's going to have another chance. Mayer's going in the book. Yellow card to Jack Mayer, and another free kick upcoming for Inter Miami. His second opportunity tonight. Messi, it's off the wall. Miami and another bullet dodged by Nashville SC. Below the playoff line, 11 games to go. Kramaski, what a ball. Ruiz gets. Watch him on MLS season pass on Apple TV. Schaffelberg wins a corner for Nashville. If he wants more, he says it was a handball, but it will still be. It was too far ahead? And it wasn't part of the attacking phase? Let's find out the decision. He's offside. Rightfully so. Thank